In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to download data from WAGDA, some data that's available to us at the University of Washington that would not otherwise be available if we were not associated with the University of Washington. I'm going to paste WAGDA link. I would suggest you set up a quick link to this. I have one, but it's not visible in this screen, so I just paste it in the link and click enter. And this is the WAGDA site. It's from University of Washington Libraries. And specifically, I'm working off of Lab 3 and 3.11 right now. But I tell you to look for data. Here's the data. And then Pierce County. Once you do that, you'll get a data license agreement if you're off campus. Just scroll to the bottom. If you agree, then agree. From here, I tell you to look for the community layers shortcut. I go to community layers and this has a nifty little archaic three and a half inch size disk to use to save the data. And that's what I'm going to use to download my data. The data I tell you to look for is parks polygons, parks points, and then another data set within this community layers section. I'm going to click the save link in parks polygons. I get a dialog asking me where to save it. I'm going to save it. And now it asks me exactly where to save it. I'm going to go to my lab 3 directory. So notice where I am. I'm in my labs, lab 3, and here is my lab folder. But I'm actually going to put it in the higher house, the lab 3, without my user ID. And this is what I'd like you to do. Create a new folder and that should be called raw data l3 within that i click there is nothing because it's new so this is where we should be downloading raw data l3 in lab 3 and i'll give you the reasons in a moment i'm saving parks polygons and i click save it takes a quick second you notice the arrows green already i also want parks points I click on it, say save, and it goes right to data, raw data lab 3. You click save, and it quickly downloads. I also tell you to download one more layer from this area. I will just choose hospitals since I, that's the first one I saw when I set it. And I'm going to save that in raw data L3 and click save. From here, I need to export my layers as always. I go to my directory. Let me make my window a little bit smaller so that you can see it. Within this, I'm going to go back. Here's my data. In raw data, I have three zip files. I'm just going to export these. I'm going to pause while I export. Here are the all of my files I've exported all of them and what I'm going to do now is I searched by date modified and therefore the of course the zip files are much newer because this data was zipped up in 2012 I'm going to click on the very top once I've sorted those I can separate out all the files from the zip files click on the top one scroll to the bottom it looks like I have for some reason that sorted way up top interesting anyway I'm going to click on the very top one scroll down hold shift to click on the bottom one and now all of my layers are selected hospitals parks points parks polygons parks polygons right click and drag over to my data L3 and release and say move here because the data is still here if I need to re-extract it. But now, if I click on data, notice that it is over here. And now if I sort by the name, sort again so the hospitals are on top, now all of my data is in here. Therefore, and this is the important thing, when I go to zip this lab up, of course we always go to the house, lab 3. I will zip up my GWL GIS Lab 3 folder. I'm not going to now because I'm not done. But what I won't be doing is zipping up 
this raw data folder because this raw data folder if I look at the properties and bring this up that's an extra almost a gigabyte of data which there's no sense to zip up and or, oh, I guess it's just a megabyte how many well yeah it'd be about a gig because that's a hundred kilobytes whatever it is I just don't want to zip it up and in most many cases we'll have a lot of data in there and there's no sense zipping all of that up that's how I download my data to a raw data folder and also how I extract it and drag it into the correct data folder